All right. Uh, as you have seen, or if you watched it all the way through, this is part two to my blog or video or whatever you want, however you want to call it. But it's pretty much a log. It's kind of like an audio book to my life. You know, uh, I, you know, I look at this as a, as a therapy session for me because I get to talk about and get out a lot of the things that, you know, are in my head, the visions and the memories and the things that I collected over, 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 over time, my past, you know, and one of the most important things as a man, as a human being that I think is important is your past. And if you don't understand your past or you don't understand history, how do you know presently how to move into the future? Because, you know, to me, you're living in a state of delusion if you don't understand the facts. If you're not clear on, on what's going on or what happened. And, and, and then you can make uh, the modifications on how to move forward because you have correct information. And for a lot of years, I didn't understand and I didn't have the correct information. You know, uh, That's why I made a lot of mistakes in life because I didn't understand a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that I missed because, you know, a lot of opportunities, you know what I mean? Just so much that I um, did out of order, so to speak, if I had to say, um, you know. And there shouldn't be an order to this life, but there is an order. Like, there are things that you should do in order. Like, you know, you should have kids at a certain amount of years, and it's changing every, you know, every decade or two or three or four, you know, or half century, man, it's changing. Because back then, it's what, it, you know, it was more beneficial to have kids at an early age because you had to run a farm. It's, I'm talking about my granddad, grandmama, and great grand granddad, grandmama. Like they, that's why they, my, my grandma had 12 kids. She had 12 kids because, you know, uh, they, you know, back then a, a big family wasn't nothing you know, out of the ordinary. Um, my grandma come from, my granddad come from huge family, you know, and, and they helped out on the farm. That's, that's why granddad and great granddad and great grandma had all them kids. Because, you know, you didn't have, they didn't have, you know, once they grew up and became 18 and, you know, started their own family with their wife, they needed people to help with the goats and the chickens and the farm, you know, to grow the crop and, and you know, make sure everything's good around the, you know, the, 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 the kingdom, the highs, you know, the land, whatever, whatever, you know, they had. So it was a family thing. It was a village. They worked together to make sure everybody ate, make sure everybody had clothes. The girls used to, you know, from what I know, from what they told me, the women used to wash clothes, and cook, and make sure the kids was, you know, taken care of. And the men would go do the harder jobs, you know. So from what I know, that's how I used to be. But my point is, you know, uh, it's just, you know, this is what it is. But you know, I I grew up, you know, understanding that uh, you know I was different. You know, I wasn't like everybody else. I wasn't in the box, and, and you know, after a while, I understood that I need to remain different, and I'm glad I did. You know, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to. Uh, I'm gonna give you my family tree from from my grandma. Not my great grandma, because I'm still researching that. But my grandma to uh, own up to me, and then you know I'll talk about my kids later, right? Own up to me, my cousins, and my siblings. So uh, my grandma, Lily Ruth Harris, uh, married my granddaddy, Charlie Lawrence Harris. I don't know what year they got married. I think they were like 18, 19. Like I said, they started off young back then. Um, 
but they ended up having 13 kids. They ended up having, and I'm going to start from the older, they ended up having, I think I think I know the order. <laughs> Back with me though. They ended up having Ruth Harris, Rosalie Harris, Pretty B, Many Pearls, what, what we call us, my aunties. Uh, after her was Odessa. And then after Odessa was my mother. And then my auntie Emma and my auntie Judy. So that was seven girls. Grandma had seven girls. And then she turned around in the midst of all that, in between some of the girls, uh, she had Uncle Charlie. Then she had Uncle Nathan. Then it was Uncle Joe Main. Uncle Jerry, and then Uncle Everett, and then the uncle, my other uncle Jimmy, he's the, he 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 passed away as a kid, um, so I never got a chance to meet him. But they say he, you know, he passed away as a kid. So I'm thinking it's six boys and seven girls, which was what thirteen. So you know, that's my family tree as far as aunties and uncles, and my mother included on my mama's side. Now, on my dad's side, you know, I, I to be honest with you, I don't I don't even understand I, I don't even know I can name a few, but I don't know like that's how crazy it is, right? Because even though I was around, you know, and, and when I say my dad, right, the man who raised me, you know, and I want y'all to understand in this story, I'm I'm being completely truthfully uh vulnerable, right? I'm being open because, you know, like I said, it's like a third session for me because, you know, there's a lot of things that happened to me that were good, but there's a lot of things that happened to me that were not. And, you know, it ain't my fault, you know, but this is more like my blog, right? So, and I can say what I want to say, right? So I'm just putting it all out there. I uh, hope nobody gets hurt in the process. If they do, sorry. But, you know, I got to speak my truth. That's what it is. So, uh, the guy, the man who raised me, which is why I got, how, who I got my name from, John Henry Walker. Great man. I can't say enough. Can't say enough. Cannot say enough. Great man. I appreciate everything that he he done for me and my, uh, my brothers. Uh, you know. But anyway, he raised me up. I had a great childhood with him. You know, we wasn't, uh, you know, super close to the point where we had, like, great conversations and all that. Cause, you know, he wasn't the type of man that you could sit and, you know, have a lot of – I'm not saying he wasn't smart. Smart guys, smart, super smart. But – he was a man, like he was a man, 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 man. Like he wasn't, he wasn't the type of man that you know, you were gonna sit there and just have like constant conversation with or whatever. You know, he mostly taught us work ethic, right? Like, cause we was always doing something. You know, we was always doing something around him. Always, he was gonna cut grass, gonna clean the grass, we gonna clean the yard, we gonna burn trash. We was, you know, just always on the go. We went hunting. Just so much I could tell you that we did. I'm going to tell you in the future. But, um, you know, he uh, he was a great man, right, in my childhood coming up. And, uh, I appreciate him for that. But anyway, uh, on my dad, on his side, I, 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 I could tell you, but, you know, I know it's my Auntie Penny, my Auntie Panther. I don't even know the way. I just know the name's Panther. He passed away. Uh... Auntie Magnolia, my Auntie Hattie. I used to go over house a lot, hang out with my cousin. We call him Petro, but Antonio Banks. Uh, I used to hang out with my Auntie Penny, uh, sons, Lamarcus Walker and Carlos Walker. And I used to, uh, you know, who else? My Auntie, uh, what's her name? See, that's why it's important for, you know, 
for the parents to teach these kids because even though I grew up around a lot of these people, like I'm so lost on names and, and you know, I lost a lot of memories on, you know, just everything, right? When it comes to like certain things. You know. And I don't even know why, because these people were very important in my life, still are very important in my life. So, you know, uh, yeah. Now, Auntie Big A, Uncle Tony, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, this is, you know, some of the people I know from his side. And then you had my grandma, Margaret Walker, which I never met her husband, which is my dad's father. You know, uh, Well, I did meet him because he brought me to Florida uh, with him one time. And I ended up meeting the old man, and he was actually cool. I see how and where my father got his way from, right? The man who raised me. Uh, so, yeah. And with, with, with that being said, I, you know, I just want to make this statement. These people are amazing. These are some of the most humble, sweetest, you know, when it comes to, like, taking care of, you know, not only themselves, but people in the community. You know, they were always generous. They weren't no, you know, mean people. My, my grandma, Margaret Walker, was, I can't say enough. I can't say enough. Along with my, my my grandma, Linda Ruth Harris, Margaret Walker, them both, I had some I had some of the best grandmothers you could ever ask for. And that's real talk. That's real talk. So I'm very grateful and appreciative for that. And, um, you know. But that's that's basically all I remember from that family tree. As far as my aunties and uncles, you know, growing up, I'm trying to think: is there anyone else on my dad's side? Uncle Fred Lee, on my dad's side, shout him out. He taught me a lot. Um, who else? So it was Fred Lee, Panther, Big A, Tony, Doc. Yeah, my uncle Doc. And I think that's, I think that's it. And then it was another uncle. He played music. Uh, I think his name was Isaac Moore. I'm not sure. But that's his son's name. But I'm not sure that's his name. But anyway, uh, some of the men I remember as uncles growing up on my father's side that I grew up under. And when I say father side, I grew up under. This, this is the truth, right? And this is, and, and I really don't even want to say it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is the truth. He, from what I know, from what I've learned, he's not my real father. My real father, name is Jesse Lee Harris from Mount Bayou. And my mama, I love my mama. She, you know, was young and she ended up hooking up with this other man on the side, you know. And I don't know, I was, I don't know the circumstances, what was going on. I wasn't there. But she ended up hooking with another man on the side. At the age of 18, I think, is when I was made. And she was young, you know. So, you know, I can't get mad and knock her for that. She was young. She made you know, mistakes. Uh, just like we all have. So, you know. I love my mama. Don't judge my mama. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, this stuff happens. You know what I mean? But she uh, hooked up with this man. From what I learned, from what I know. And that's why I'm here now. His name was Jesse Lee Harris. Now, from what I know, this man had a whole other family. I don't know how many other families he had, but I know he had a whole other family, one whole other family. Uh, he had kids that were older, that were older than the kids in that one family. Uh, my auntie Jangra, not auntie, I'm sorry. My sister Jangra, that's my older sister. Uh, my other sister Valina. So those are the two older ones that I know about that weren't in that family that he had. So he had a family with, um, you know, uh, another 
the woman. And, you know, he was, you know, creeping out on, I guess, whatever. You know how men do sometimes. We do what we do, you know, at the, at the, at the you know, at the, heat of the, at the heat of the moment, you know what I mean? Thank God I didn't grow up out of the, a lot of my ways. But, you know, yeah. So my dad was known, my biological was known as a, you know, he, he, he got around. Uh, all I heard from, you know, people is, I mean, he had pretty white teeth. He was chocolate like me, you know what I mean? And, you know, he was charming and women loved him, right? It is what it is. Uh, so, you know, it just, you know, that's some of the stuff that, you know, I'm telling you all in the next video, we're going to go more into in depth into, you know, what I remember as a baby on up until, you know, a certain age as a kid. I mean, we can go from that certain age on up to, you know, a certain age as a kid to 19, I guess. And then we're gonna go. I guess every five years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to remember, see what I can remember for five years at a time, right? So, yeah, that's that's what I remember. Uh, that's what I've learned, you know, so far. That, you know, and I never got a. D, we never got. A, we never did a DNA test or anything like that. But you know, it did. You know, it it, it panned out. man that raised me is not my father. So, you know, that's one of the traumatic things that messed me up as a kid. You know what I mean? You know, the fact that, you know, I didn't even know who my real dad was. You know, you know minus the fact that, you know, we ain't even talking about, you know, uh, other stuff that went on. But just, the fact that I I had no idea. Thank God I was raised up by John Walker, which was fantastic. I had, he was amazing. He still is. Uh, I will always love him as a father. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, we were never close to the point. We sat down and had a lot of conversation. But he would take our time with us that, you know, the other man didn't or other whoever didn't. So thank you. John Walker, I ain't never told you in my life that I'm so glad that you was there when you were there. Because if not, ain't no telling where I would be right now. To be real with you, ain't no telling where I'd be right now. It'd probably be really tough on me right now if it wasn't for that man. So I appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, take it this long, 18 minutes, but I had to get that out. You know, it is what it is. All right. Until next time, next video.